Hello, I'm Maximum Trinidad Technology Evangelist for Sapient Technologies, Inc. In this instructional video, I'll be covering how to work with resizing forms and anchoring controls, which can help in getting a handle on the high DPI resolution issues. Let's open a 16 form containing a few controls previously added. In this form, looking at the properties panel on the appearance, the form border style property has the default value set to sizable. Notice that this property has more values you can choose from the list. Next, on the layout section, the auto scale mode property has the default value set to font. Notice that this property also contains a list value that can handle the form and control scaling during screen resolution or font changes. This GUIN form includes the following controls, three text boxes, three labels, one button. Just using the default values will be enough for these controls to remain unchanged. When I run the GUI form, all controls will not be affected by manually resizing the application form. It's convenient to have a fixed size form and leaving the controls with the default. As you can see, there's no manual resizing allowed and the controls stay in their place. There will be a scenario where you need a sizable form with controls altogether based on a given output result. In our next GUI form sample, I will show a sizable form to display some messages found in the Windows application event log. I kept the default values previously discussed, then changed a few other properties. Now, in both button and the rich text controls, I changed the text, font, and layout properties. In the button control properties, I changed the text, the text button to get application event errors, the font, I change it to 8 to 16. The layout property, I change the dock uh, option to top. In the rich text box properties, the text, I change it to display the uh, display errors found. The font size will change from 8 to 16.2. In the layout, the dock will change from none to fill. Finally, I added the code behind so I could get the error from the Windows application event log. I'm ready to run the form after these changes and let's see how it behaves. As you can see, if you have concerns about experiencing high DPI resolution issues, it's just a matter of understanding the form's properties and doing the necessary steps to make sure the form application work as expected. This is the end of this instructional video. Feel free to check out our system videos in our Sapient Technologies YouTube channel. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapient Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.